Hi, my name is Michael Caduce, EMS educator at the EMS LRC. Today, we will be discussing the skill of long bone immobilization. First, I need to ensure I am wearing proper body substance isolation, which includes gloves and eye protection. First, I will have my patient or partner manually immobilize the injury. Then, I will assess the status of the pulse, motor function, and sensation in the injured extremity. Once I have ensured pulse, motor function, and sensation are present, I will select the appropriate materials or device to immobilize the injury. I may use the opposite extremity to properly size the immobilization equipment. I will secure the injury in a fashion so the joint above and below the injury site are immobilized. I will ensure the splint does not allow for excessive movement by placing the patient in a sling. I may also secure the limb to the body using a swath. I then reevaluate pulse, motor function, and sensation. Proper immobilization helps reduce pain and discomfort while maintaining function of the extremity.